So, this video is going to be brought to you by France Foam Works. Uh, I was given this kit to review at APOC, as well as the blaster to actually review it with, since I didn't actually own a Villainator. Um, but yeah, so, while well, yes, I was given this kit specifically to review by France Foam Works, as with anything on my channel, my opinion is and always will be my own. So, disclaimer's over. Let's get into the video. What's up, everybody? Griever here, and today we are going to be taking a look at this. And no, not specifically the Villainator, but this 3D printed kit for the Villainator. This is the Annihilator upgrade kit designed by Rextech and printed and sold by France Foamworks. Uh, this is the kit that I was asked to review, and that's what we're going to do. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go over what the kit actually does come with, take it over to the workbench. Uh, show you all the pieces individually, this way you can see the actual uh, print quality and also all the individual pieces. Actually reassemble the kit itself, and then I'm going to give you my final thoughts on it. So, first thing I actually do want to mention is the differences between what you would actually purchase as opposed to what I have here in front of you. Uh, first thing is... The kit does actually come with a replacement stock attachment point. Now, there is no shell work for anything regarding this particular uh, kit. What the stock replacement point does, it actually slides over the default, or I should say stock, uh, dart zone attachment point, gives you a little bit of length, and actually converts it to a nerf attachment point. So you would be able to use really any nerf stock that you would want rather than just this or the one that comes with the spectrum because that's the only other one that i believe works with this the other difference is this front grip uh when i got this set up from josh for the review it actually already had the athena front grip on it the kit does not actually come with a actual front grip it does come with uh, this, which I'll get to in a, in a few moments, but the Athena grip does not come with its stock. You would actually have to purchase that separately. So, getting into what else does actually come with this. Uh, actually, sorry, we'll just start here then. Uh, it does come with a replacement priming grip, uh, which is just this 3D printed part and a section of Picatinny rail so that you would be able to use whatever grip that you do want. Myself, I actually do really like the Athena fr uh, front grip, so this is honestly because you can hold it a multitude of ways, or at least two ways, and it works very nicely. If you more prefer a full vertical front grip, as long as it's Picatinny, you can use it. So, that's that. Uh, you do also get this very nice barrel shroud with it. And what's also nice about it is it does have built-in Picatinny rails on both sides of it. So it doesn't add a whole lot of like girth or weight to the blaster, but it does give you some rail attachment points. Uh, it does also come with this dart holder, which holds eight darts. And you will notice that I do have four short darts and four full-length waffle heads. Now, just a little side note, I really don't know because, like I said, I never owned one. Uh, if the Villainator, by default, can actually fire uh, half legs, I was told that it can, and I have tried with this particular one. The only thing is, though, there is a little flap here that you do have to remove, which they did. So this is actually able to fire half legs, and I gotta say, it fires them not particularly well, but it does fire them. So also, I was told that the half lengths look a lot better in the dart holder than the full lengths. I kind of have to agree, it does actually look a whole lot better. But, you know, that's entirely up to you. So, But it comes with that, and along with this full length of Picatinny rail for the top of it. Now, the design of the Picatinny is resembling or mimicking 
the default rail that is on the Villainator. However, this is actual Picatinny sized, um, I guess default sized Picatinny, because this is a red dot, or I should say a green dot site that I had gotten from Containment Crew a while back, meant for Picatinny rail. And I mean, it holds very well. And I mean very well. So the rail works very nicely. So there is that. Also, it does give you, like I said, it gives you full length because the stock rail goes from here to, I want to say maybe about here. So you're actually getting almost double the rail usage. So if you want to put iron sights on it, you can actually work it very well, very easily with this setup. So, but yeah, that's everything that comes with the uh, kit. So let's go over to the workbench and take a look at all the parts uh, by themselves. Okay, so this is everything that the kit comes with or minus the stock attachment point, like I had said. Uh, but yeah, these are all the pieces. You have your top rail, your dart holder, your prime grip, and then your barrel shroud. And I have to say, the print quality on these things is really phenomenal. I mean, these are very, these are really quality prints. Uh, they're solid. I mean, yeah. Uh, here we can actually see the France Fireworks logo, and then on this side, Rex Tech. But yeah, the print quality again, hopefully, focus. There we go. Uh, print quality on these is really, really solid. Like, I am, I'm always impressed with the quality that France Fireworks has. So, I mean, there really shouldn't be a shock there, but yeah. Quality is spot on, uh, especially with like the rails and all that stuff. So, yeah, assembly of this kit's actually really simple. Uh, you just start off with the barrel shroud, and you just put it right in, and it actually snaps into place. And truth be told, this already is a big improvement on the blaster in and of itself. Um, the rails are really easy. You take the first section, you slide it on, take the next section, kind of slide it onto there. And then this last section just snaps right down there. And you can screw these down. Like there are screw mounts for there if you do want to like make it solid. Because I got to say... I'm just holding this right now by this middle section that's literally just held into place by that and there. And, I mean, it's really not going anywhere. So, I probably would advise not doing that. But, yeah, I mean, you don't even really need hardware to put that in. Once it's on, it's on. But for reinforcement, though, you could always screw it down and be done with that. Uh, this... The dart holder, you don't necessarily need to put it on, but if you did, just slide it on to the position you want. Take the bolt, which it does come with, and then you just screw it on in. For this, it looks like the only hardware itself is the actual screw so there is as far as i can tell no bolt that holds it in on the other side it just threads right in and basically once it's screwed in it's screwed in now looking at what is on the website as opposed to obviously what i got these metal bars i'm going to safely assume you have to actually take out of your villainator and put into here because I did not see them in the pictures that were online. Uh, the hardware, the only hardware pieces that I saw that actually came with this are these two screws and the bolt basically for that. But 
you put the one side in, put the other side in, and you just screw it together. And there you go. And really putting it together was that easy. So, yeah, I'm just going to put the grip on and put the uh, drum back in place. And then I'm going to give you my final thoughts on this kit. Okay, so my final thoughts on the Annihilator Upgrade Kit. Uh, I like it. It is actually a very nice kit. Uh, the pieces that it comes with actually do improve the overall what is already nice about the Villainator. Uh, the fact that you would be able to use whatever nerf stock that you wanted to, be it a worker stock or retaliator stock or raider stock, uh, even the stockade stock if you wanted more dart holdings, uh, that is an improvement in and of itself. The full tack rail, because I'll be honest, when you're really rapid firing this thing, it can get pretty shaky. Or if I was being silly, it'd be like kind of like a little shaky. But a red dot sight may not be the best thing. A pair of iron sights would probably be very helpful for this. And having a full length of rail on top is definitely something that would help facilitate iron sights. Uh, also for just going off of build quality the fact that i still don't have any screws in this and the build quality of this piece of rail that i could hold the blaster by that and only thing that's holding on to it is an attachment here and this little press fit piece that's a testament to how well this is built at least in my opinion also, I do like the fact that you do have the side rails here. Uh, for the simple fact that, especially if you are using this in an HVZ setting, you could have on the side here a Proud Papa, and on the side here a flashlight or something if you're playing at night or if it's getting dark or if you have to go through dark corridors or whatever. Um, I mean, that would, right there, a big boon in helping out take out like supers or whatever, or at least just seeing where the hell you're going. And also the fact that the grip, you could basically use whatever you want. If you want to use a vertical grip, you can. If you want to use an angled foregrip like this, you can. I mean, it's just, you know, customization is half of what this hobby is. Actually, I think it's what all this hobby is about, really. But either way, the fact that you could use whatever grip you want on here and use it comfortably like this, it's a win-win. Um, I do want to say one thing in regards to the Athena grip. I know it wasn't part of the review, but I'm just throwing this out there. Because I know these are printed very well and very solid. The only thing is, though, because of the way they are printed, they print upside down like this. I, I would make the suggestion again of maybe just running some sandpaper along the side of these because this had a pretty sharp edge on it, just like the first one that I had. Just saying. Um, but yeah, overall... This kit is solid. Uh, the print quality is really good. The, uh, I mean, the build is, it looks simplistic, but it's actually very well thought out. Uh, the kit itself retails for $50 on France Formworks website. Link will be in the description below if you are interested in getting one for yourself. And now, just because I had mentioned it earlier, that this particular one fires half lengths and full lengths. Screw it, let's do a firing demonstration. So we're going to start with the half lengths first, and then go to full lengths. And hopefully they will all hit my dart catcher, because there's a lot of darts to clean up. And I believe this does have slam fire too, so... Nope, 
that's it. We're dry. So, I think it's safe to say that that's a pretty solid grip that it was that I had no issues with firing it. So, yeah. So that's my thoughts on the Annihilator upgrade kit. So. So that's where we're going to end it for this video. And as always, if you enjoy the content we put here, please throw us a like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the Annihilator upgrade kit or if you have gotten the Transformworks The Box. Uh, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, I always enjoy reading all of them. So, and ooh, don't forget to click that little bell icon. Otherwise, you may not know when me and Arlene are doing our silliness here on the channel. And don't forget, we have a P.O. box. So if you want to make the mailman do something, you can always, you know, send us something or whatever. But, yeah, again, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Later.